Welcome again to another uh, session uh, about the radiographic interpretation uh, uh, of radiographic images in 3D uh, CT, uh, CBCT and uh, in this session we are going to talk about the uh, radiographic interpretation of fracture of the uh, uh, condylar head. <coughs> Uh, condylar head fractures actually um, uh, occur uh, not necessarily by a direct trauma to the condyle, either bilateral or unilateral. Uh, most of the cases of fractured condyle uh, occur uh, by the transmission of forces from remote places uh, in the mandible, mostly in the mandible. The mandible being a thick, solid bone. So the uh, forces uh, will be transmitted like from the chin, a fall on the chin or on the ramus of the mandible. The forces will be uh, <coughs> trans transferred via the thick uh, uh, mandible uh, to the condyle and the condyle will uh, and most, most likely it will fracture at the neck. Uh, uh, the frac uh, being the neck being the weak weakest area in the in the mandibular condyle. Of course, there are clinical uh, uh, signs and symptoms of fractured condyle. Uh, uh, today, we will not uh, talk about these. We will try to talk about the radiographic uh, features. This patient, I think you have seen this uh, re uh, patient in uh, a demo uh, earlier demonstration of a uh, and another demonstration of a uh, signs of a, a, a or the radiographic signs of a healthy uh, uh, or intact <coughs> uh, condylar head. And today we are going to talk about the fracture. Okay. What you do uh, is that, uh, the, the, uh, in uh, this case in particular, the fracture condyle is on the right side, so I will drag the, uh, co uh, the, the slicing window to the condyle and I will try to place the cursor uh, or the, uh, uh, the locator exactly on the uh, on the uh, in the middle of the condyle in the three planes in the sagittal plane in the coronal plane and in the axial view and here you can see that it is located in the middle in all the views <coughs> okay if you want to interpret uh, a, a structure then you will start going image by image, slice by slice, and we will try, as you can see here, what we are doing, just like we have done earlier, we will try to move the uh, uh, slices in, we will try to move the images slice by slice, trying to navigate the whole thickness of the condyle from a medial to a lateral view. If we find that everything is within the normal uh, uh, appearance then we will try to have a, another look at another place usually as you can see here I am moving I will try to move the cursor into the where I can find okay uh, uh, fractured uh, uh, or signs of fracture. By the way, fracture generally, radiographically speaking, <coughs> fracture is, a discon is d defined as a discontinuity in the anatomical outline uh, of the structure. Usually, it is sharply the uh, sharp uh, radiolucency. Uh, uh, that causes discontinuity and either all the thickness of the anatomical structure or a part of it. Now, I will try to go to the uh, coronal view and in the coronal view I can see that there is a... can you see this area? I can see that there is a discontinuity 
discontinuity in the anatomical boundary of the condyle. This is the condyle over here. This is the typical site of fracture of the condyle. Being weak, it's the condyle fracture here, uh, here and the condyle head will move in a inward, medial, and a forward direction. This is by the action of the lateral pterygoid uh, muscle. So, I will move again. Okay, and you can see here that the condyle is broken in this area. Can, see, can you see this area over here? I'll try to maximize. Okay see the discontinuity now the the fracture line is extended from the lateral side to the medial side now what we want to know is if it is a full thickness fracture or it is <coughs> a green stick fracture okay uh, I'll try to uh, br bring the uh, um, okay bring it uh, here and we will see it in the three planes okay let's go and have a look from the uh, sa uh, sagittal view in the sagittal view I can see that the fracture side is here so the fracture is actually extending from here upward from this side upward okay this is the fracture over here so I'm moving again see that now the fracture line here is extending from the posterior border of the uh, ramus upwards obliquely going up till this direction but let me let us find if it is going a full thickness actually no uh, the fracture is extending from let me measure it from here to here the fracture is extending uh, it extends around 10 millimeters but doesn't go all the way to the <coughs> through the whole thickness of the uh, mandible. Let me uh, of the uh, of the condyle head. Let me relocate again. So as you can see here, see the difference here. When I look at it from the frontal view, the uh, fracture side is uh, different. When you have a look at the at the fracture from the sagittal view, in the axial view. And the axial view, the fracture is here. Now let us see if it is through. And uh, now I suspect that there is a line over here. But how do I prove that this is not the line? See the continuity over here. It continues with this uh, uh, shadow. So the fracture cannot go to this side. So this is superimposed area. But the fracture is extending from here up till here. Okay, so I'll I'll go back again and relocate the uh, position. Okay, now and the fracture is here. This is uh, the coronal site of view, uh, fracture site, and this is the. Uh, sagittal view. If we uh, enlarge the uh, axial view, let's ha let's compare between the two condyles. If you compare between the two condyles over here, you can see that there is a medial shift. If you measure the distance from the condyle over here, you'll find it's around 4.6 uh, millimeters but if you measure it from here you will find it that it is 2.7 millimeter it means that the uh, condyle here has gone in a medial direction which is the typical behavior of the of the condyle head when it uh, uh, when it is traumatized so it means that it has gone in a medial uh, direction the other condyle seems. Uh, I will just show you again how it looks over here. I don't know if it looks, uh, if it it would appear uh, in the three D reformatted image. And this is how it looks from the side over here. I will enlarge. This is how it looks. It looks as if it is gone all the way through, but in reality, 
because the uh, uh, image here is uh, different unlike the other view uh, and this is the fracture site over here okay if you go to the other condyle you will find on the other condyle which is there is no this is continuous there is no line uh, of fracture which is seen in <coughs> uh, this area okay thank you very much